So as you can see on your screen, I've switched to my controller camera. So you all will be able to see everything I'm doing. Now the main purpose of today's video is to help you guys improve your shot timing and shot placement. These are the two most important things in this game guys. And uh, once you get this right, um, you'll improve your game drastically. Now guys, we're gonna play Nadal versus Fred on Grand Slam difficulty. Um, but before we start, I would again like to mention guys that if you haven't watched my previous video, please do. I will link that video now. Um, so please do watch it uh, before you get into this one because I explain a lot of basic stuff in that which I'm gonna skip over in this video. Now I'm gonna be talking over a pre-recorded footage here guys and we're gonna start here and I'm gonna tell you firstly that look at my left stick here guys. I am only aiming for the top left or the top right of the court. This is very important guys. This is the best position to aim for. Uh, according to me, I have seen it to be the most effective guys. So either top left or top right. Secondly guys, you can see I am um, holding down the R2 button and holding the circle button to hit the shot. This is because I find this shot to be one of the most effective shots in this game guys. Uh, this is the aggressive top spin shot and um, I find it to be one of the most effective if not the most effective shot in this game guys. Thirdly guys, once you look at my left stick, one more thing I would like to mention here is that after I decide on a side, either top left or top right, and after the ball, this is a fault here guys, after the ball leaves my racket, uh, I move the left stick in the opposite direction. So we're gonna see this here guys, I go for top right and then I move it to the top left. There's a bit of lag in this video, so, <clears throat> so it's gonna happen like one millisecond before, but as you can see again, top right and top left. Sorry, top right and bottom left. Always the opposite direction, guys. This is very important again because you want the ball to be placed exactly on the line. And um, if you don't do this, guys, the ball will go out. So keep this in mind. Um, you'll also see one more thing, guys. Because my placement is really good, sometimes even though my shots are not green, sometimes they are red and orange, they are still like really good shots. This is again because placement is a very important part of this game guys um, so yeah I have put my markers on specifically in this video in the last video I didn't because I usually play with my markers off but in this one I did because I'll be able to help you more this way I guess this rally is an example of what not to do as you can see the markers guys it's really bad placement also one more thing guys here you can see the drop shot is very effective uh, because it forces the CPU into making errors I usually only use it um, when I need to, but if you keep kind of spamming the drop shot, the CPU will uh, keep making errors. Not all the time, sometimes he will be able to um, kind of return the shot, but I've seen a lot of the times he just makes an error. Uh, so keep that in mind guys. Now again, <clears throat> there's going to be a slight delay on this, um, like a millisecond delay on my controller, but as you can see again, I'm going to go for top left and bottom right in this shot I'm gonna go for first I'm gonna move the stick in the top left side of the court and then as soon as the ball leaves my racket I'm gonna move it into bottom right again top right and bottom left as you can see this and you can see that's where all my shots are on the line guys um, because this is uh, one of the most important things here you have to move your left stick in the opposite direction Again, we can see here. Drop shot, again the CPU is gonna make an error, guys, see. It is very, very effective against the CPU on Grand Slam difficulty, guys. So, you can even use, hold down R2 button and press, uh, hold down X here for an aggressive flat shot. It depends on what kind of uh, shot uh, you prefer. I prefer the aggressive topspin shot, but even the aggressive flat shot is very effective, guys. Again, top left and then bottom right I got punished there uh, this does happen uh, sometimes guys uh, but most of the times you will um, win the rally if your placement is really good guys now again we're gonna go for uh, top right and then bottom left this was not a good placement you want it to be exactly on the line and then uh, another drop shot and another error here guys you want the shot to be exactly on the line the marker and then pull the left stick in the opposite direction. Like this, yes. 
this is perfect this is a perfect example of what you want to do so again guys as you can see same thing here top right and uh, moved it in the, uh, the left stick to the bottom left once you get an idea of this guys you can start playing without the markers uh, as well but um, in the beginning if you don't know what to do do switch on the markers uh, so you'll be able to see, see exactly where the ball is going and you'll be able to learn uh, quicker this way guys because if you're gonna play with the markers off without knowing all this stuff most probably you're gonna keep making errors in the game guys also let's come down to timing here guys uh, you can see as I mentioned some of my shots are red uh, but they're still like being placed really good because placement is a big part but also sometimes they will go out guys so you want your timing to at least be uh, yellow if not green and guys I am um, holding down the circle button for the top spin shot you can even press it but as you can see you see a power bar here guys uh, this puts more power into the shot of course uh, if you just press the button it will focus more on um, placement but it will be a very very uh, the power will be very less in the shot guys so it depends on your play style as well on that now i really hope this uh, video helps all of you i have covered most of the stuff of the game now in uh, my previous video and this video now so if you guys watch both of the videos you will be good to go and this will help you improve your game quite a bit guys uh, i am gonna stop talking now uh, because i'm gonna just let the video play uh, so you can see more of the shots and see exactly what I'm doing but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and um, if you want any more content uh, relating to AO Tens 2 and any tips or tricks please do let me know in the comments below because I can make a video on it and uh, please do let me know in the comments as well if uh, this video helped you guys uh, so guys uh, this is it for today's video if you did like this video guys please hit the like button down below and uh, i am going to be uploading more ao tennis 2 content uh, so if you are interested in that please subscribe to my channel and turn the bell notifications on because i'm going to be uploading more videos really soon so i will catch you guys then enjoy the rest of the video guys take care